Hi, welcome to the Wardenberg Family Farm with Don and Brenda. Come and join us this evening on the farm as we do some light chores and we relax together and enjoy the sunset. So how did your day go today? Pretty well. Yeah. I worked in the garden for a little bit this morning. Um, I'm putting the garden beds to sleep. A lot of them, the, the crops that are over, I'm putting uh, some compost on them and some mulch and they're gonna be sleeping for the winter. But yesterday we hauled a ton of weeds yeah, we out did. there, didn't we? Yep, yep, the, the zucchini row. I kind of lost control yeah. of the weeds. It was a lot of weeds. I had probably four or five tractor bucket loads full. Well, and I'd been working for a couple of days pulling weeds and also pulling crops, all the beans and stuff. There was just piles of yeah. stuff that needed to go to the compost. We had them loaded in the bucket and I hauled it out and put it in our number one accumulator pile. And it's probably about eight feet tall right now. It's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll compost down. It'll be nice, good stuff by next year. Yeah. Well, this afternoon was fun. I got to make some jam. I made uh, apple pie jam. Our apples are coming in right now, so I'm going to be doing a lot of apple stuff. So right now we're sitting in our solar pavilion, but we did some work on it recently. Mm -hmm. And we had a big weekend, didn't we, this yeah, last we weekend? Yeah, we did. Decorations yeah. are still up. We <laughs> celebrated our oldest granddaughter's birthday. She's 16, sweet yeah. 16. So we had the whole family in here for a picnic, and we had a really good time. Yeah, it was. So she made a special request of wanting her party to be in the, pavil mm -hmm. the pavilion. So yep. I got it together and we put down all these pavers and outside it, we brought in some other soil and I got seed and straw all around. So um, hopefully it will all grow up this fall. It's a lot nicer. It was just a stone floor. Yeah. And I didn't really know if it needed done. I'm okay, I'm okay with the stone, but now that he did it, makes a big oh, it's difference. it's beautiful. And it's yeah. nicer to have everybody here too. Yep. Just feels better. So we also moved, we have this little um, solar, I mean the um, the gas fire pit. Mm -hmm. We put it out here along with the tables and I like it better here because we are have a clear shot with the sunset mm -hmm. and... Um, well and this is the time of year we're going to use it because it's... Yeah. You know, 10th of September, it's cold at night, sometimes 40s and 50s at night, but still really nice and warm during the day. It gets up to 75, 80, 85 during the day. So, but at nights, that's the perfect temperature to sit around a fire pit. Yeah. So you remember on our last video about relaxing, we had a really good week, didn't we? We actually went out to dinner, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. It was a special occasion. That was our 43rd <laughs> anniversary. It was a great dinner. And mm -hmm. the funny thing is, is that our favorite dish out of the whole meal was what? Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> the way they were prepared was just, oh, uh, I could have had a whole meal of Brussels sprouts. I know, neither of us particularly like Brussels sprouts. They I can guess be I haven't bitter. learned how to make them well. Yeah, but they did them, I think they roasted them and they had a little bit of a, of a blackening and they had sweet on them too. And then and they, they had, had some candied walnuts in with them. Yeah. <laughs> they were good. Yeah, you know they have to be good if we're talking about them because we had salmon and you had some lobster stuff and that was okay. That stuff was okay, but the Brussels sprouts were <laughs> primo. Maybe you should grow Brussels sprouts I might have again. to next year. Got to learn how to fix them that way though. Okay, so looking forward, the high tunnel. Mm -hmm. How are you going to use the high tunnel differently this year? Well, I already have some lettuce started in there, some spinach, and some kale. So I hope to be harvesting greens from there all winter long. Mm -hmm. We didn't use it enough last year. We were really no, busy. I, yeah, well, I was, remember I got sick and it was oh, busy. Oh, that's right. I didn't get a chance to get things going in there. This year, I'm ready. I we have had things a rough, going. We took a nice trip, but then we got COVID and then... <laughs> and I kept overdoing it and was sick for about two months. Yeah. Yeah. But now you're back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, and this year I'm getting a head start on things, and I'm doing pretty well this year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, hey, it's about time. Maybe you should head out and do our chores yep. here. we got to close up the tunnel, close up the garden, and when it gets dark enough, close up the chickens. Yeah. So, why don't you come out and take a walk with us? We'll show you what we do every evening. Yep. Well, I fed the cattle, so hopefully they'll be quiet tonight. Ah, who knows? They forget they ate and then they start mooing again. You know, two weeks from today is when they go. <laughs> Time for some beef. 
You know, you still have quite a bit of compost. Oh, I'll compost. be using it. I have a lot of beds to go, plus the whole tunnel. So I'll probably use all of that pile and that pile. Really? Yeah, because you can put it on partially compost. It'll finish over the winter okay. on the beds. You know, the sun is just at the horizon, and it's already getting cooler. Can you feel oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So did you have to irrigate much today? I didn't today. I gave it a good wet yesterday, so I'm going to do it more tomorrow. Okay. But there's not that much left in there, you know? Yeah. So every other day right now is good. Doors or sides for you? I'll do doors. You do sides. Okay. No rabbit tonight. Last couple nights there's been a rabbit in here. You know, this plastic is lasting longer than I thought it would. Yeah, is this the fourth year? Or yeah. third year? Fourth. Fourth. It is holding up really well. There we go. All right, well, the sun is setting and it's time to relax. The cows are still talking to us, aren't they? Yeah. Sometimes they forget they've had dinner and they just keep mooing and mooing. Yeah. Especially if they see us out. Now the chickens are the odd one because usually the chickens are loud in the morning when they're laying eggs. And but at night, they've been squawking a little bit as they're going to bed, especially I have one named Apple. It sounds like a seagull. Yeah. She's been louder tonight. But they don't go up until it gets pretty dark. So it'll be a while till we can tuck them in. <laughs> Well, we'll see how it goes. So, well, anyway, I'm pretty happy to have some of the work done in this pavilion, all the stone down. A lot of the work. <laughs> we still have a few other parts of this project, though. Um, we might put some screens on the side because sometimes it gets windy out here. A and lot of also, times it's windy here. And the sun. And the sun comes in that angle right around dinner time. So we yeah. need a little bit of shade and wind protection on that side. Yeah. Well, just like at the picnic on Sunday. <laughs> Plates were blowing away with food on them, so everybody was holding their plate as they were eating. <laughs> but everybody got plenty to eat anyway. Yeah. It was fun. And then I, uh, I think we'll put a couple fans up here, mm -hmm. you know, and um, maybe some other tables or what have you. But well, because these panels are they're bifacial. Are the roof of this thing, the ceiling is the solar panels, so a little bit of sun does come through them. It's not a hundred percent shade. Yeah. So fans would be nice. Sometimes it's hot in here midday. But as we speak right now, I can feel the temperature just dropping you know, quite a bit. I forget. I don't know if it's going to be in the 40s or 50s tonight, but it's nice and cold at night. Yeah. Yeah, and you do just feel the cold air coming in as the sun goes down. Yeah, it's really nice. It's oh. really nice. So. I like cold evenings. Oh. So I forgot to mention earlier when I said about the prom that we went to. Oh. Uh, all the, you know, thinking of the trouble we went to to get the pavilion set. I went to a lot of trouble that day for your prom, yeah. didn't I? Where we ate dinner for our 43rd anniversary. That's where we went for my senior prom. And I had escaped going through the senior prom in my school. Um, and you were two years class difference. But for you, I, I was happy to go for the prom. He's one of those guys that didn't want to go to prom, but <laughs> he had to. So I had an old beat-up car, as most young people do. It was a 1970 Maverick, and it was rusted out. It was terrible. So I did a lot of body work. Didn't know anything about body work, but that never really stopped me from yep. doing things. And then I painted the car. And I painted it about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The day of the prom. And I was supposed to pick you up at 5. So whoosh, finished painting. I put some cleaner in the paint and went in, got cleaned up partially, and put my prom gig on and, and went to get you. So I drove it, and the paint was probably only 2 or 3 hours old. So needless to say, Sunday afternoon after church, I was looking at the car, and there were bugs stuck into the paint. <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun at prom. <laughs> it was great. So lots of memories there. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at the garden this year. What do you think your big, what did you have the biggest success? What did you enjoy the most this year? What did I enjoy the most? Or yeah, what, and what the was success? the best? Well, we had 
a big success with all the brambles. The red mm -hmm. raspberries, black raspberries, and, and blackberries. Blackberries yeah. just produced and produced and produced. So I'm actually been selling t gallon bags of frozen blackberries for people to make jam. Yeah. So they did well, and I love those. Well, the prior year, you really learned how to, to prune, prune and mm -hmm. set them up so that you get... Yeah, I must have done it right, because they really did well. <laughs> they and did. we had a lot of green beans, too. Yeah. But uh, And then tomatoes were good. Yeah, you know, tomatoes were very... And cucumbers yeah. really were good. And yeah. peppers. We've had a nice amount of peppers. Not too many, not too few. Just right. And what didn't go so well? Uh, let's see. Oh, peas. Well, first, the rabbits were eating them off. Then I think roly-polies were eating them. So spring, my peas got eaten off and didn't do anything. And then fall, I fried again. Same thing. Yeah. They just keep getting eaten off. And I we can't seem to get the rabbit out of the garden. So what about cantaloupe and watermelon? Well, I didn't do watermelon this year, after last year. <laughs> but this year, I did try cantaloupe. I was determined to get cantaloupe. Well, in the beginning of the season, they looked like they were going to die. I just figured it was a bust. But then they kind of just started growing, came back, and we had quite a few cantaloupe. Yeah. Now they weren't great. They were good, they were okay cantaloupe, but they weren't amazing. Yeah. So if I can't get amazing cantaloupe, I don't think it's worth growing it. I think that goes for everything in the garden. If you don't feel like you're getting a superior product, yeah. then it's almost what's the sense. Yeah. So cantaloupe you know. are gonna go by the It has to be better store. than the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Or, yeah. or you don't farms, do it. Yeah. Or yeah, do it. I won't be doing cantaloupe or watermelon again. Yeah. But I do need to do next year. I didn't do spaghetti squash this year, and I'm going to miss that. So next year I hope to do spaghetti squash and butternut squash. Not a lot of them, but just enough to have over the winter. Now, sweet corn this year did not work out so well. The rain wasn't at the right time. I, I planted it late because I was on a trip for two weeks, and she kept the farm going. And or didn't plant didn't, corn. Didn't plant corn, so planted late and we just didn't get the rain. So I ended up feeding all of the corn to our cattle and they loved it. They, oh, they'd line up at the fence about every evening and start mooing. And I would get 15 or so stalks, throw them in there, whole stock, and they would eat leaf, cob, stock, the whole thing. everything, the whole thing, the whole thing down. And they just mm -hmm. loved it, loved it. Yeah, they did. And every day, if I didn't get it out to them, they would just be mooing and mooing. No. Yeah. Now, and you had a uh, problem with another thing. We didn't have time to plant pumpkins this year. Yeah. So we don't have any pumpkins. No. I was going to, I planted winter wheat, and I was going to terminate it, and I was going to plant the pumpkins right in it. And it, again, was right at that period where I was away uh, on a project. And uh, He was in Peru for two weeks. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it was a good project with mm -hmm. the university um, doing wind turbines. So mm -hmm. I enjoyed that, but you know, a couple things I couldn't do here yeah. in the farm. So next year we'll do some good sweet corn and more pumpkins. Yeah. The other thing that I'm really excited about is we did the expansion on the orchard, and you saw that in the other videos. And I can report out now that almost all the trees mm -hmm. made it. I had one of the new chestnuts. It's a blend between the Chinese and the okay. American chestnut. It did not live, but all the other trees did, and they're really positioned well for next year. And you're looking for some other trees. Yeah, I think what, um, since the USDA changed our zone here, we're now zone seven, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't think that pecans would grow here, but they do now. Well, one of our viewers suggested that. Yeah. He said there's pecans that grow in our area, so yeah. we're going to get some of those. Yeah. By the way, we read all of your comments and we really enjoy the feedback and it's amazing. I think we must have the, the most experienced and brightest uh, viewer base out there because... Yeah, because your suggestions have helped a lot oh, in almost every really area. Have. They're encouraging and informative. Mm -hmm. So um, please keep them going. Thank you. We enjoy reading those and we mm -hmm. enjoy learning you know, from you all. So mm -hmm. thank you. Because we're still, a lot of this is still experiment for us. We've only been doing this for five years now, and we yeah. are still learning. We've learned a lot in five years, but we have so much to learn. Yeah. So is there anything else, now that we've been through five years, is there anything else that you would really like to be able to do on the farm that you haven't done yet, that we've been kind of pushing off? Not that I can think of. I don't think so. Okay. No for the goats and sheep or 
Now, you talked about doing um, meat birds for chickens, maybe. Yeah, maybe that. I would like to have a freezer full of chicken. Yeah. But we'd have to get some meat birds. Maybe next year we can try that, because the way our chicken coop's set up, we have two separate yards. And most yeah. of the time, the girls have access to both yards. But I could keep the layers on one side, cut the inside run in half, the layers still have access to the nests, yeah. and the meat birds would just have a yard to run around in, and I could well, make a little a pasture, roost for them right? to go. Yeah, yeah, that could work. So well, maybe next year we'll do meat birds, and a short-term commitment. In accordance with our other our video and our commitment to not overdo it, we have to be careful not to take on too many new things. Well, that's why we really did kind of want to do goats, but... yeah. We just haven't had time. No. So. And many of you have told us that goats are escape artists, and they're very difficult. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to be chasing goats around uh, no. up and down the street. No. Now, we're going to have a, about six months without any cattle. Yeah. We're taking a little break because he wants to do some work on the, far on the barn, and he needs to have them out of there to be able to do it. Yeah. So, so we'll have an upcoming video. We've done a lot of work on the upper level of the barn. And we'll show you that, uh, but I need the cattle out of there because I need to do some masonry work mm -hmm. and some cleanup uh, on the lower part. So that is coming in our near future. Yep. The cows actually go in two weeks, like you said, so we're soon going to have a freezer full of beef. Yeah, definitely. It's getting chilly. You're going to need your... Uh... Yeah, sweater. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. All right. I just, I love it when it starts cooling down like this. The chickens are happy, too. The chickens do not like the heat, so... And the cows, everybody's happy. <laughs> yeah, well, if it gets much cooler, we'll uh, turn okay. the fire pit on here. Sounds so. like a good idea. Yeah. Okay, time to close in the chickens. Are they all inside? I think. Yeah, nobody's in this yard. Girls. You can't sleep down here. You have to sleep up in the chicken house. I got two that keep wanting to sleep downstairs. Uh-oh. Like, you need to be up here where the automatic door closes. You're a lot safer up there. Girls, what am I going to do with you? Settle down, settle down. Let me see. <laughs> Snowball. Snowball. She's all white. The first all white one we called Betty White. Second one, Chloe named Snowball. Okay. Now you're safe, girls. Night, night, girls. Night, night. Thanks for the eggs. Now this is relaxing. Yes. We won't be able to do this for no. too much longer. No. And maybe two more months, you think? Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe sometime in the middle of winter, it's snow out here. There won't be snow under here. Yeah. We can sit around the fire with the snow or all around us. when the kids go sled riding <laughs> and playing, and you know, they probably will want to ride their uh, their electric buggies if there's only like two or three inches yeah, of snow. Yeah, they probably will. <laughs> and then we can come in here and have... Uh, have a fire, have some yeah, hot Yeah, hot, do hot dogs and... Oh, or just hot chocolate and marshmallows yeah. and s'mores. S'mores over the real fire. Yeah. There's something about gathering around a fire that just slows you down. Well, the fire is just mesmerizing, you know? You just... Yeah. <laughs> it just helps you relax. It does. Yeah. For me, even when it starts getting cold like this, just having a candle burning in the kitchen just... I don't know. It does something. Yeah. Before you know it, you're going to be working on Christmas decorations. Ooh. <laughs> you're going to do a video this year with... I don't know. Do something new and creative? Probably. It's just fun decorating. Yeah. You know? well, and speaking of the farmhouse, we did the video, was it last week, showing you all the stuff we did outside the first five years. Yeah. We're going to be doing a video showing you everything we did at the farmhouse, too, and give you a whole farmhouse tour. You know, show you what it was like when we bought it and what it's like five years later. We have made some changes. And we're still making changes. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a little bit in the kitchen right now. Yep. So we're making the leap over to an induction stove. So just testing it out, see how it's working. I'm liking it so far, except canning. My all-American canner doesn't work on an induction stove. So yeah. I still have to figure out how to do pressure canning. That's to be solved yet. You know, 
what we should try is to bring Ruby out here to see how she would do and hang out. Yeah. I don't know what she would do with fire. <laughs> yeah, she probably would jump right up there with her paws and yes. look right at it. Yeah, she would probably get close to it. I don't know what she would do. <laughs> we'll have to see. She's great. She's out with us in the garden. She's out a lot during the day. But yeah. um, at night, and especially with his new grass being planted around here, she'd be digging in it. So yeah. she's inside. We'll go inside in a little bit and play But with she her. is making the turn from crazy puppy to <laughs> just a youthful a dog. dog. But she has moments of being a dog just curled up on the floor mm -hmm. in the kitchen watching yeah. you. But she still has puppy moments because yeah. the one thing we had to eat at the party the other day was buffalo chicken dip. Oh. And we had one left over and I had it sitting on the counter and I went, left the kitchen for a little bit, go to the potty, came back out and she was licking the buffalo chicken dip. She was up on the counter licking right in the container. So she still has some puppy and bad stuff in there, but she hadn't eaten off the counter before that. So it's funny, to you can tell that. that you're a grandma and have a lot of young grandchildren around. Yeah? Oh, potty. <laughs> Okay. That's good. Yep. That's good. I mean, we have grandkids ranging from 16 down to one's coming in December. We're going to have a baby in December here. That's yeah. going to be fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to having another baby around the house. Yeah. Well, that's good. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I think I'm finally slowing down enough from the day. I think so, too. Yeah. It's going to be hard to relax in the heat of the summer because we're working till like 8, 8.30 at night. You know, yeah, but now that it's getting cooler and darker, we stop earlier and we can relax in the evenings. I do like autumn. Yeah, <laughs> it's the best season of the year. Yeah, one of them. Well, I hope you're as relaxed as we are. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on the Wardenburg Family Farm for our night and evening of relaxation. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.